2024, God has been good to us. Many things we went through in 2023, good times and tough times, but nevertheless, God has kept us. I won't complain. I bless the Lord for this day. Thank you also for your support of our YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe, continue to like, and you leave a comment. Amen. And listen, I pray that the word that we have been sharing throughout the year, it has been a blessing to you and your family. Me and the woman of God, Lady Di, our goal is to equip and empower you through the word of God. Sharing the message, manage your time. Manage your time and put things in order. Your time is valuable. Don't waste it on a lot of meaningless stuff. Let's get into the word. I pray that you will enjoy it. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord over my soul and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. I thank God. I give God glory. It is day 22. Amen. January. Amen. Praise God. And God has been blessing, blessing, and blessing on blessings. I know on my life and I know even on you all life. Amen. Praise God. I pray that you had an awesome time yesterday uh, at your services. Amen. Praise God. Some of you that were, have been fasting and praying and uh, this was the accumulation. Amen. For some of you, amen. And some of you are still fasting. Amen. Praise God. But I know it had to be an awesome time of worship and praise. Amen. So we bless God. Amen. For what he's doing for us. Amen. Praise God. Uh, through this uh, fasting time. Amen. Preparing for the year. Amen. And I pray, hallelujah, that you're not going to stop. I pray that you're not going to quit. You're going to keep pressing forward. You're not just going to do it just one more. Amen. Praise God. But you're going to continue to get in God's presence. Amen. Praise God. Spend time with him. Amen. Praise God. Whatever God has promised, he's going to keep his promise. Amen. We're going to make sure we don't waste no time. Amen. Because we know that our time is valuable. Our Father, which art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Listen, me and the woman of God, once again, we don't take it lightly. Amen. It's an honor. It's a blessing. Amen. To be able to witness and minister to you all in the morning. Praise God. We know you all have your own pastors. We know you have your own prayer life. Amen. But we come together in the morning. Praise God. Just to encourage you. Encourage one another. Amen. Praise God. And not just that, but pray for others. Pray for our family members. Pray for the nation. Pray for our country. Pray for our, our leaders. Amen. Praise God. That God will continue to keep and cover them. Amen. Praise God. And, and shield them. Amen. Praise God. From all the wickedness. Amen. That surrounds them. You know, and so this morning, amen, we just want to share a word, put in your hearing, amen, a word of encouragement, amen, praise God, and that you will keep and hold on to that word, amen, that you got yesterday. I, it was a word I shared uh, months ago, amen, about the enemy is after your seed, that he's out there after to steal your seed. And even as yesterday, as I was preparing the word for the service, amen, praise God, and, and it came, amen, praise God, the word, once again, the word of God. And so I want to put in your hearing the psalm. 119, 105, 119, Psalms 105. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. And that's Psalms 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And also it says in Hebrew, uh, fourth chapter in the 12th verse, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than a, any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of a soul and the spirit, amen, of the joint and of the marrow, and a discerning, hallelujah, of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. The word is so powerful, amen. It's just like a two-edged sword. And another scripture I want to put in your hearing, 2 Timothy 3, third chapter, 16 through the 17th verse. And it says, all scripture is breathed out, of, out by God and profitable, for teaching, for reproof and correction, and for training and righteousness, that the man of God may be what? Complete. Hallelujah. Equipped for every good work. Amen. We bless God for the word and in, in, in the hearing of his word this morning in the name of Jesus. We know that, you know, uh, there's something that my wife used to say all the time, Pastor Di. She would say that this is my Bible. It is the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living seed. I am what it says I am, 
I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so the word is all okay by itself. And I want to encourage you this, this morning to let you know the word of God is so important. Amen. Uh, many people are looking for, you know, miracles. We're looking for this and we're looking for uh, uh, men and women of God to come lay hands on us. We're looking for a prophetic word. Amen. Praise God. But the word is right there in front of you. Amen. It's right there in your hand. Even as the songwriter sung this morning, I'm healed by the power of your word. We're healed by his word, by his strength, amen, by the word of God, amen, praise God. We are healed, amen, praise God. It's the word that's spoken out of your mouth. If you believe and receive and have the faith the size of a mother's seed, you shall be able to even move mountains. You shall be able to walk in victory. You shall be able to be healed, amen, praise God. So if I was to share a, word, uh, a title, it would be your breakthrough is in the word. Your breakthrough is is in the word as I, I quoted the song the the, uh, the 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 quote that my wife will say you know about the the bible is the incorruptible indestructible ever living seed ever living seed and whatever it says you are you are amen whatever that you can do you can do whatever that you can have you can have it amen praise god it's the word that's going to deliver you from your situation it's the word when you take it and apply it there are some principles that you have to apply it's the application that must be done you can hear the word amen praise god hallelujah and you can hear it and hear it and hear it but if you don't be a doer like in the james in the book of james says you know don't just be a hearer of the word but be a doer of the word the word amen praise god it calls you when you when you have the faith amen praise god in other words, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. So it's an action that you got to do. Amen, praise God. Yes, you, 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 uh, the, the, the man of God or woman of God may lay hands on you. Amen, praise God. But you yet got to believe in your heart. You yet got to have the faith to believe what? Believe what the word says, that you're healed by his strength. Amen. You, 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 you have to stand on God's word. And you know what? One, one, one key element, one key element is walking in obedience you got to walk in obedience that's how the word everything that we do we when god provides things for us amen praise god it always it's, it's always with something that you got to do amen it's not about you how much money you can bring you you know uh to, to receive a blessing no amen praise god but you still got to listen to the word and hear what the word of god is saying how do we hear the word by the preachers Amen. You hear it by reading the word. Amen. Praise God. Uh, reading the scriptures uh, out loud to yourself. Amen. Praise God. And you're hearing what you're reading. But the key thing, you got to apply that word. Amen. We want to get to a place where we're walking the, uh, in obedience, uh, 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 obedience of the word of God. Amen. God is going to move, amen, according to what? Your faith. Amen. Your faith. Uh, uh, in, in this sanctuary of words, we have, we have to let our heart resonate with the transformation, amen, of the power that we have been given from God. He said he has given us power and authority over the enemy. Amen. He has given us power and authority over the enemy. Everything that you desire, the things that you want, amen, praise God, your, your wealth, your health, amen, praise God, your family, amen. You want your children saved. You, you want to be saved. You want your husband or your wife to be saved. You got to put the word on it. You got to put the word on things of God. All month, many, many of you have been fasting, you've been praying, you've been getting in the presence of God. Don't let this month go by in vain. Let, let when you come out this month, amen, that you're taking that word and you're applying it. Amen. You know, with me, I, I, I told you, you know, as I fast and I pray, amen, praise God. It looks like it's getting, it's like it's getting harder and tougher, amen, praise God. Not the fasting, not the praying, amen, praise God, but what the enemy is trying to block, amen. The enemy don't want you to be, uh, 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 have life and have it more abundantly. The enemy wants you to struggle. The enemy, in, enemy wants you to struggle for the rest of the year. Amen, praise God. But that's not the way God wants it. Amen. God has a plan. His perfect will we want to be in. Amen. We don't want to be in the permissive will. We want to be in, his perf in God's perfect will that God is moving. Wherever God has promised, he's going to bring it to pass. Amen. And I know that if you continue to stand on God's word, amen, allow the word to get into your heart. Hide the word in your heart that you won't sin against God. Amen. Praise God. Because why? Your breakthrough. 
your breakthrough, your healing, your deliverance, your victory, amen, praise God, is in the Word of God. It's power in the Word of God. There's strength in the Word of God. There's salvation in the Word of God. When you got saved, you got saved according to the Word of God and what you believe in your heart. You apply faith to believe that Christ died on the cross for you and that you were a sinner, amen, praise God, and that you were surrendered and you were giving all to you, him, amen. He died on the cross, amen, and was raised in three days, amen. You will believe in that. So how do you get your healing, amen, applying that word, applying to that word to your situation, not always trying to apply, don't get me wrong, say to God, I'm not trying to tell you not take medication, but, you know, we want to apply medication to our lives so quick, amen, praise God, oh, I got a cold, oh, medication, oh, I got this, oh, medication, oh, I got this, medication, no, uh-uh. No, God, God wants you to trust his word. Trust his word. We've been taking all this stuff for so long, and all it does is manipulate our bodies. Amen. Praise God. It, it, it's not healing nothing. Amen. But it's the word of God. Wow. Watch this. Watch this. Thanks to God. How, how do we get healed by the word of God? How do we get healed by the word of God? I'm so glad, y'all, as I hear you. Amen. Praise God. You get healed by the word of God. Amen. When you listen and do what the Word of God tell you, the Word of God will tell you what to eat, what not to eat, what to stay away from, who to stay away, how to get friends, how to how to discern. Amen. Praise God. Who's for you and who's against you? Amen. The Bible lets you uh, helps you to recognize the enemy. Praise God. How when the enemy gets, that's why a lot of us been taken by surprise because we're not trusting the Word of God. Your breakthrough is in the Word of God. Your deliverance is in the Word of God. Your situation, amen, praise God, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, I guarantee you it's in the Word of God. you got to take your time and read it. If you got a problem with your children, it's in the Word of God, how to deal with your children. If you got a problem with your co-workers, it's, got, it's right there in the Word of God, how to deal with them. Hallelujah. You're trying to figure all kinds of other ways to get around and try to uh, get, get, get to, you know, uh, the, the uh, situation uh, fixed. Amen, praise God, but try Jesus. Hallelujah. Try Jesus. Try, try the word of God. Amen. You just got to apply the word. It's in the book. Amen. From, from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Your answer is in the book. Amen. You just got to get to a place, amen, where you're studying the word. You're dissecting the word. The Bible says study to show that self approval unto God. A workman that need him not be ashamed. Amen. But rightly dividing the word of truth. Thanks to God, we got to get in the word. We got to get in the word. We got to study. The Bible lets us know that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek after him. If you seek the face of God, if you seek him, amen, praise God, if you seek the truth, he's going to give you the truth. Amen. Many of us, we want to go by what our grandparents said and what, what our ancestors said and so forth, amen. But you got to know, what did God say? What did God say, amen? God has a way, amen, praise God. You know, the Bible you know, lets us know that, you know, there's a way that seems right to a man. But in there is death, you know. For the wages of sin is death. Amen. Men calling uh, a, a lie, truth, and truth a lie. Calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. You know. And so in order for you to understand how we're going to be victorious, how you're going to walk in victory, how you're going to stay on the winning side, you're already a winner. Amen. Because we already won, you know, because of Christ died on the cross. Amen. But you're going to have to get to a place where you're going to have to walk in victory. And the way you walk in victory, amen, by applying the word of God. Your breakthrough is in the word. Your breakthrough is in the word of God. There's power in the word of God, amen. He, the Bible lets us know that heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall remain. No matter what, you know, no matter what, whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you want to do, amen, give it to God. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Amen. God will help you. You just got to want to be helped. Amen. Praise God. But when you take things into your own hands, in your own matters, amen. Praise God. Then you put God out of the way. You say, I got this. I got this. Amen. But God said, I got you. I got you. Your breakthrough is in the word. Don't look for somebody to come lay hands on you. Amen. Praise God. Don't look for somebody to have to come prophesy to you. Amen. I get it. The Bible talks about the elders. You know, for those that may be sick, go to the elders and they come. Yes, I get that. Amen. But in this day and season time, amen, you have to be careful who you let put hands on you, who you let hands on. You got to read the word of God. You got to know God for yourself. Amen. Praise God. This is an individual thing. 
Amen. Praise God. When you get it for yourself, amen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show in your home. Amen. Praise God. And then once it's show in your home, it's going to show up in the church. Amen. Praise God. And then the body of Christ. And then when it show up in the church, it's going to show up in the community. And when it show up in the community, it's going to show up in the city and so forth and so on. Amen. Praise God. But it got to start at home. It got to start at home, thanks to God. Amen. I'm here to tell you today, your breakthrough is in the Word. Your breakthrough is in the Word. Amen. Bible says that whatever you need, how he said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Your burden is given to him. Whatever it is, he said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No evil shall befall you and no plague come out of your dwelling. This is the word, but you got to apply. Even it says in uh, Second Chronicles 7 and 14, we always quote this, you know, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways and then, hallelujah, well, they hear my voice in this land, and he will heal the land. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You got to know that know that God, when he requires something, amen, praise God, all you got to do is step up and apply, amen, the principles, amen, and you'll see the great move of God in your life, not just your life, amen, but others around you. So I'm looking for everybody to change. You got to make a change. I pray that you have made a change this month, amen, throughout this fast. Just praying, amen, praise God. If you if you missed it, amen, it's okay. Get back in it. Get back in it. Don't stop. Amen. Continue to get it right. Amen. If you got to go all the way to uh, December 31st, amen, this year, keep going. Keep going. And I'm telling you something, thanks to God. You know, it's not it's nothing hard. It's who we are. It's how we live. We're supposed to live a holy and righteous life. I'm not saying you can't enjoy life yet, amen, praise God. But you're going to put yourself in a place that you're walking, um, how you say it? Walking in the spirit. Bible says what? Walk in, walk in the spirit that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. In other words, walk in obedience that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Amen. Praise God. If he can come and tear your home up, if he can come and destroy your home, there's power in the word of God. There's breakthrough. There's victories in the word of God. God will show you the enemy right where they're at in your home. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for you this morning. And I'm praying, amen, praise God, that no, nothing, nothing will be able to get by you because why? You are applying the principles. You are applying the word of God to your life. In the name of Jesus, no witchcraft spirit, no witches will be able to come in your home, get in your home because God is showing you, amen, he's, he's opening your spiritual eyes that you'll be able to see the enemy for who he is in the mighty name of Jesus. No Jezebel spirit, hallelujah, will be operating in your home in the name of no manipulation or no control of your home. In the name of Jesus, we buy every uh, evil and wicked uh, gatekeeper that will try to come up against you in the mighty name of Jesus that may be trying to hold your blessing back. God is going to open up your eyes, but you got to get in the word of God so you can see that when he speaks to you, you'll understand. Because when you when God speaks, amen, it's confirmation of what you already read. God is just revealing to you his plan for your life in the name of you, whether it be for your finances, whether it be for your health, whether it be for your relationships, whether it be for your uh, vision, your goals, your dreams, your ministry in the name of Jesus. God will reveal it to you. Your, your breakthrough is in the word of God. Your breakthrough is in the word. This is nothing new, thanks to God. All I'm doing is refreshing your memory and sharing with you that your breakthrough, your victory, your deliverance, your healing, and it, whatever it is that you need from God, it's in the book. It's in the word of God. You got to get in the word for yourself. You got to study the word. You got to get dive into the word. You got to uh, chew that word of eating, get it on the inside of you. And when you get it on the inside, it's going to show up on the outside. Father God, I thank you right now, Lord, for the people that are on this today, God. Even though that may be on YouTube, God, I'm praying for their healing, God. Not just for them, God, but for their families, Lord. God, they're going to take the word of God. They're going to apply it to their life, God. Whatever it is, God, they need to do, God, they're going to stand on your word, God, in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall them, and no plagues come nigh their dwellings, God. They are giving everything. They're turning everything over to you, God. They're releasing into your hands, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every trap, every snare, every plot, every plan of the enemy, God, you're going to reveal even in their dreams, God, how to deal with the enemy, God, how to walk in victory, God. You're going to show them, God, 
how to come out of their situation, God. Even in their dreams, God, you're going to show them even how to transform, the, even a uh, 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 transformation, in, even in the way that they eat, God. They're going to change the way that they eat their eating habits, God. In the name of Jesus, God, you're going to bless them, God, in such a way, God, they're going to begin to see that how awesome and, and, and the powerful that the Word of God is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's like a two-edged sword, the Word of God said. Hallelujah. It is like a two-edged sword. Amen. Praise God. It is a discerner. Amen. Cutting through what? Complexities of life. Amen. Through things that you may go through, the Word is going to be there to help you reveal. Amen. So that you may be able to walk forward in every situation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a light. It's a lamp unto your feet. A light unto your path. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, God. Lord, hide your people. Hide your word. Hide your word in their hearts, God, that they may not sin. This is what the word is saying. Hide your word in my heart, Lord, that I may not sin against you, God. Hide your word in my heart, Lord, that I may not sin against you. Hide your word in my heart, Lord, that I may not sin against you. You got to hear what it's saying. Hide your word in my heart. Amen. Praise God. So in other words, you're going to be moving and walking according to the word of God. And when you're walking, amen, praise God, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. You won't allow. When you hear the word, the word is what's going to heal you. When you hear the word, amen, praise God, it's going to talk to you and have you do the right thing. Hallelujah. Your decision making, amen, because of what the word says. We're not, the Bible lets us know, we're not ignorant of the devil's devices. Lest he overtake us. Hallelujah. But it's the word. It's the word that's going to keep you. It's not all the songs and all the music. Amen. Praise God. But it's the word of God. Amen. Nothing's changed. Holiness is the way. Holiness is the way. Hallelujah. Don't get it twisted. Amen. We try to do a lot of things in the churches. Hallelujah. Today. But it's the word. Of, it's the word. It's the word that's going to keep you. Amen. Praise God. You get people get hung on on music. They get hung on a lot of different things that they do in the churches, different activities, and then they think that's the gospel. Amen. Praise God. But it's the word. Hallelujah. I get it. The, I get it. The word is still the same, but different methods come to, to the people use this creativity. Amen. To draw people to Christ to get them in the church. But it's the word that's what's going to keep them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope. I pray. That you're hearing me this morning. Amen. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is in the word of God. Your breakthrough is in the word of God. Don't get it twisted. Amen. Praise God. When well, you think you got to go get somebody to lay hands on you for you to be healed. Amen. It's the word that's going to heal you. Heal you. Amen. Praise God. Yes. God's going to see to some people. Amen. Praise God. Some destiny. Helpers in the name of Jesus. God's going to send you some destiny helpers. The spiritual caregivers, amen, in the name of Jesus. Faith of God is the word. The word is going to keep you out of trouble. The word is going to keep you from going places that you don't need to go. If you uh, listen to the word, if you adhere to the word, amen, praise God. If you take heed to what the word of God says, the Bible says what? He that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit of God is saying to the church. Amen. You got to hear. You got to hear. Hallelujah. If you want transformation, if you want a change in your life, Amen. Praise God. You got to hear and you got to apply those principles to your life in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you right now, God. God, I pray, God, that you will cover every last caller on this phone this morning, God. We buy every plot, every plan, every trap of the enemy, Lord, that will try to come up against your people, God, in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them, God, shall prosper, God. No evil shall befall them and no plague come nigh their dwellings, God. No instrument, no device. No giant, no God, no situation, no Jezebel spirit, no witchcraft spirit, no warlock, no sorcery, God. In the name of Jesus, whatever hatch, whatever projection that they try to do, Lord, it won't work. It won't succeed or prevail. I pray right now, God, that even through the fast, God, that you have strengthened your people, God. And, Lord, they are walking at another level, God. They are strengthened, equipped, and empowered in you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we buy every attack right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Lord, I thank you right now. Even, God, I pray right now, God, that even those that uh, that are operating in witchcraft, God, they won't even be able to get on the prayer line, Lord, in the name of Jesus. They won't even be able to, to come near our houses, God, 
in the name of God. But you have put a, a shield of protection, God. I, I talked about the atmosphere has changed. I talked about the atmosphere last week. Amen. God is surrounding you. Amen. Praise God. Covering you and protecting you, God. And protecting you. Amen. From the things that will try to attack you. God is covering you. Even when you don't know it. Even when you're in your car and you're riding. God is covering you. Even on your job. God is covering you in the name of Jesus. And we find every witchcraft spirit, every hex, every spell in the name of Jesus. Any monitoring spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Marine spirits, water spirits in the name of Jesus. God, we find every spiritual attack, even on your people while they sleep, God. Incubus and succubus spirits, God. Those sexual demonic spirits, God, that will try to attack your people, God. Even while they sleep, God, we denounce and renounce every uh, situation, God every uh, 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 covenant that they try to make with us, God, even in our feet, God, we bind it right now. We denounce that, God. We sever those relationships, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. We plead the blood right now, God, over your people in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that the, their prayer lights are increasing, Lord. Their prayer lights are increasing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you right now, God, for you are worthy of all the praise, God, and all the glory and all the honor belongs to you, God. No weapon, God. We thank you right now, God, for great is the Lord, uh -huh, and greatly to be praised, God. We're not moved by what we see, God, because we walk by faith and not by sight, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we plead the blood. Cover, God. Cover, God, in your name, Jesus. Lord, protect our children as they go to school. Cover them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of perversion that will try to come up against these uh, 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 daycare elementary, kindergarten, middle school, high school, college, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. Send your angels of protection around the children, God, on these bus, school buses, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. Cover the teachers, God. Cover the bus drivers, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We plead the blood right now, God, right where our own city and state is, God. Cover the babies, Lord. And we bind every spirit of perversion, God, every sex trafficking uh, 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 organization, Lord, that, Lord, that you're revealing them, God, and you're exposing every last one of them, God, no matter where it's coming from, God, the White House, the outhouse, House, the Church House, God, in the name of Jesus, God, you're, 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 you're uncovering, God. You're uncovering right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood. We plead the blood, God. Bring those family members home, God. Bring those young girls home, God. Bring those young men home, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. Those that may be somewhere in somebody's basement, God, being captive, God. I pray, God, we pray, God, for their release, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, let your angels, God, open those doors, God, and let them be able to escape, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. I pray, God, that there are warriors, God, there are uh, men and women of God that are praying night and day, day and night, God, for these children, God, to be free, God, those that may be in captivity right now, God, that are being molested, God, that are being abused, God. Sexy Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we bind that nasty, filthy spirit right now in the name of Jesus, God. We plead the blood over them right now in Jesus' name, God. Oh, Lord, oh, she, and even those that get released, God, even those that get released, God, Lord, cover them, God. Lord, in the name, in the name of Jesus, their minds, God, Lord, that they be free, God, forever, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And that spirit, God, that covenant, God, that these, God, 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 God that they have made with these children, God, and these people, God. Lord, that it's denounced, God. We denounce it, God. Renounce it, God. It's broken, God. It's severed, God. That when these people come out, when these children come out, God, when these women and men come out, Lord, that they are free, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, 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 God. Thanks to God, don't stop praying for them. Don't stop praying for them children. You, many, many of y'all, y'all got grandchildren. You got children. You got family members. Amen. Praise God. And, and some of you may have, have people that may have been kidnapped. Amen. Praise God. Pray. Y'all continue to pray. Pray for them children. Amen. And that God is exposing and he's freeing up these babies and these children, and even, even these young adults, these women and these men, you know, that God will free them up. Y'all don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't stop praying. God has given us assignment. Amen. Praise God. And it's not just to go to church on Sunday and shout, have a great time. Amen. Come back home. He's dinner. No. God has an assignment for us. Amen. Praise God. You're going to change some things. You're going to change some things by the way you walk and you live. Father God, I thank you right now, God. Now, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I render every demonic spirit in attack against you, your family, your health, and your finances to be helpless, powerless, inoperative, ineffective. I decree that nothing, no weapon that's formed against you 
shall profit against you, your family, your health, or your finances in the mighty and nice name of Jesus. And don't don't forget this, thanks to God. Your breakthrough, your victory is in the word of God. It's in the word of God. Live on purpose, live with the purpose, and live the purpose driven life. I love you guys for life. God bless you. Go in peace. Amen. God bless you. I pray that you have enjoyed this message today. And I pray that you are encouraged, equipped, and empowered, amen, to move forward in your life. As I always say this, amen, praise God, before we close, make sure that you like, make sure that you share, or, or comment, amen, praise God. Let us know what you, how you, what, how this message has been a blessing to you, amen. And as you go throughout your day, I say this always, and I mean it, encourage yourself. Encourage others around you. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than conqueror. You're overcome. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with a purpose. And you got to live the perfect in life. God bless you. Go in peace.